This is Barrett, Mrs. Barrett. What? I need some help. I've got to do a video. What are you going to do? I've got no idea. Mrs. McIntyre says I've got to do it entertaining. That won't be hard, will it? What, with me? What are we going to do, Mrs. Barrett? I've got no idea. It's to welcome our new class. What do you think we should say to them? I don't know. Just that it's going to be an entertaining year. Cool, that'll do. Hello Year 4, I'm Mrs Glenn and I'm really excited to be teaching you in September along with Mrs Barrett who you saw earlier. Now I've probably met quite a lot of you already and I've wandered up and down the corridor by your classroom. I think I've even been in to see you a few times but I am really looking forward to having you up in Year 4 with us in September. So, how are you feeling about coming up to Year 4? Are you feeling a little bit apprehensive? Maybe you're feeling a little bit anxious about what school and year four may be like. Maybe some of you are feeling an even stronger emotion. Maybe you feel a bit deflated about having been at home for so long and feel a bit disheartened that you may have forgotten everything that you ever knew in year three. Maybe you are super excited, ecstatic about the thought of coming back in September and overjoyed at the thought of coming back and being with all your friends and seeing everyone again. But whatever you're feeling, it's okay. Myself and Mrs Barrett are there to help and support you on your year four learning journey. So it's been a while since you've been in school, so we're now going to take you on a little guided tour of our year four area. Because it's a while since you've been in school, I'm going to give you a quick, quick guided tour in case you've forgotten what the school looks like. We're coming down to your current classroom, that's your year three classroom. Looks a little different to how you left it and that's because we have to sit children separately. Don't know quite what it will look like in September, but it might look a little different to that. Toilets in exactly the same area. One of my current year fours said to me they need to know where the toilets are, Mrs Glenn. They haven't changed, they're still the same place. So this is down into our year four area. Now we've got lots of boards and that's my first challenge for you. So challenge number one, boards, boards, boards. We have lots of boards. In fact, we've got plenty of boards. So we need lots of ideas to fill all of these empty spaces. In fact, I think I counted about six boards around year four. So your challenge is to think of some ideas to fill them. What would you like to see on some of these boards to make them look a lot better than they do at the moment? So in September, when you come back, be ready to share your ideas. If you want to plan it out and give us a detailed design, then that is even better. Get your thinking heads on. So here we are outside Hawthorne class. This is going to be our classroom. Mr Wilkinson used to be next door, but he is moving up to year three. So let's go into the classroom and have a little look. Um, needs a little bit of a tidy. Haven't been in here very much because I've been teaching in year six. Big boxes of stationery waiting to be unpacked, but you get a feel of what the classroom might look a little like come September. So here we have our bookshelf, lots and lots of things to read in here, and that is my next challenge. So challenge number two, books and more books. So challenge number two, books, books and more books. What I would like you to do over the summer holidays is to get reading. I don't care what you read, you can read annuals, you can read graphic novels, you can read factual books, you can read novels, you can read picture books. I think I've shared this one with you, it's one of my favourites. I just want you to read whatever you are interested in and then in September I want you to be able to come back and tell me what you've read and tell me what I should be reading 
because we want to be having lots of conversations about books in our classroom. So make sure in September you're ready to give me some recommendations. I'd love to hear what you've been reading and what I should be reading next. So this is the door into the outside space. We have one of the best views in school and this is the way that you will come into the classroom in September and you will come in through this door. So hopefully you know where to find us on your first day of school. So challenge number three, blah, 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 or banning boring words. And this is something that you need to do when you're reading. I love words about as much as I love books. And I want you to, when you're reading, find some really great ones. So words don't have to be really long to make them really great. This is one of my favourites, plunge. I love the sound of it, to plunge off a diving board into a swimming pool. And this is another one I've just recently found. Blurt. When you blurt out something without thinking. So have a hunt around. What great words can you find to share with us in September? And this is my final challenge for you. Challenge number four, break time. And it means exactly that. Have a break have a rest, have lots and lots of fun over the summer and be ready to get going again in September. So there you go, there's my four challenges for you. Remember, boards, books, damn boring words and have a break and we'll be ready to start our learning again in September. Look forward to seeing you, have a great summer, bye.